Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to create an admin panel dashboard with Go Router. We're going to be using here Go Router package, of course, and Flutter admin scaffold to lay out our sidebar and Riverpad for our state management. So the first thing we need to do is to add these three packages into our pubspec.yml file and reload it to install. Next, in order to use Riverpad, we need to wrap our main widget with provider scope, like this. Then inside our project, let's create an app router folder. And inside this folder, let's create an app router.dart file. And inside this file, let's create our go router instance, wrap with provider. Then assign root route into our initial location. And inside our routes, Let's define all the screens that we need. To save time, I've already created these simple screens. The dashboard screen, unit screen, tenants screen, notices screen, and settings screen. So the way we craft our admin panel is similar on how to create a bot of navigation bar with Go Router. So this is an example provided by Go Router on how to create a bot of navigation bar. So instead of creating a scaffold with navbar, we'll be creating a scaffold with sidebar. We'll also be passing this stateful navigation shell. And instead of returning scaffold here, we'll be returning an admin scaffold from the Flutter admin scaffold package. Then instead of working with bottom navigation bar, we'll be working on sidebar from the admin scaffold. And the rest of the logic is the same. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to create a scaffold with sidebar file inside our app router folder. Okay, so inside this scaffold with sidebar file, we create our scaffold with sidebar widget that returns an admin scaffold. We give it an up bar. But if you want your screens to have their own up bar, you can remove this up bar and add the up bar on individual screens. And here in the body, we pass the navigation shell. And in our sidebar, we assign a sidebar with an empty items for the meantime and select the route with an empty string. Next, we need to go to our material app. Let's convert it to material app.router and then watch our go router provider and assign go router to this router config. The next thing we need to do is inside our go router, let's create the stateful shell route that index stack. Then let's return the scaffold with sidebar that you have created. Then pass this navigation shell. And inside our branches, we create five stateful shell branch because we have five screens to render. And inside the routes of each branch, we add the screens that we want to show. Alright, that's it. And, we, and if we refresh this, we now have this screen with up bar with sidebar. So the next thing we need to do is to define all the navigation buttons here. So let's define all the navigation labels and icons inside an enum. So I defined sidebar item with five items. In each item, it contains value as its label and icon data as its icon. Then here in the sidebar items, we map the sidebar item that values. In each item, we return admin menu item, passing the value as its title, 
the icon data as its icon and the name as its route then the next thing we need to do is to define the unselected callback and inside the callback let's simply copy this example from go router all right so the problem here is uh, this go branch needs the index but this item is of type admin menu item which doesn't have an index so where can we get the index so this enum contains the index so what we need to do is to convert this item into the equivalent value of this sidebar item and then access the index of this so I've created here a helper method that accepts this admin menu item that is coming from here and return this sidebar item. And inside this uh, helper method, we loop on the sidebar item values. And for each value, we check if the item route is equal to value.name. If so, we return the value. If no condition was met here, we return the sidebar item as dashboard as a default. Then to extract the index, we call this function, passing this uh, item, and then the index property. Okay, so if we refresh this, we now have this screen, and as you can see, it's returning the screens that we are selecting correctly. Okay, so the next thing we need to address is the background color of the selected item here. Because if we, uh, if we select a uh, sidebar, we cannot see here which item was selected. So here in our sidebar, let's give the active background color with the color white. And for this selected route, we need to refine a provider that will contain the selected route. Let's default it to the dashboard.name. And let's watch the provider inside this build method. In order to use this, we need to convert our widget with the consumer widget. And then we assign the value here. Okay, so inside our own select, we need to update the selected route provider with the route of this item. We now have this uh, dashboard selected, but the problem is when we select another button, the selected color is still in this uh, dashboard button. So to solve this, we need to add a unique key to this uh, sidebar so that when this widget rebuilds, it will force to rebuild this sidebar widget causing the active background color to highlight the selected button. We use random number here to make sure it generates a unique number for each rebuild. Okay, once we refresh this, we can now see the magic happening. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.